All right, guys, uh, I'm here to show you guys how to install OpenTTD on your pocket chip uh, and how to get it running. It's actually pretty easy, but this video is also going to show you how to uh, how, how it runs. So uh, anyway, we're just going to go right here in our home screen and hit the terminal. All right, now in the terminal, we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in sudo apt get install open TTD uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let that run um, it doesn't take long for this to run but we're just gonna go ahead and just let it run all right uh, it might take a little bit longer for you guys because actually I removed it and reinstalled it. So, um, yeah. Uh, and then once you have it installed, we're just going to go ahead and run it right out of the terminal. There we go. And now it's running. So now if we grab our pen as a stylus. Shit, it's still doing that issue. Oh, I reinstalled it because, I mean, it, it was working with the touchscreen a moment ago. Oh, you know what? I know exactly why it's not happy right now. Because I switched it to full screen mode. And when it's in full screen mode, it doesn't like the touch screen. So uh, with our um, mouse plugged in, we're just going to go ahead and go back to windowed mode. There we go. Now I should be able to unplug my mouse. And now what we'll do is we'll be able to hit new game. There we go. Uh, and this runs pretty well uh, so far from what little I have played it. I dropped it down to 128 by 128 um, just to see how it would run. Um, I mean, I'm sure it will run a little bit better. So let's go to the default, which is 256, 256. Um, yeah, we're just going to randomize our seed and generate. Done. And it doesn't take long at all to generate the seed. Um, you can't really um, scroll with the pen. What you can do is use the directionals. And honestly, look out! Look how quick that actually runs. That's pretty good. Um, we can go ahead and we can zoom out with this button. Now it does. Oh, and there it goes. It was a little bit jerky, but now it's better. Um, so what we're gonna do? Just for the proof of concept here, um, to show that it does function, we're going to put um, a road vehicle here. God, if I can remember how to play this game. But as you can see, look how it's, it's actually pretty responsive. It's impressive. Um, you get your settings. Um, yeah, but I want to plug um, my mouse back in. I th haven't played this in a while, but if I remember correctly, you need to right click. Oh, you know what? Actually, <clears throat> there's no sound because I don't have um, I don't have my headphone plugged in. But let's go ahead and try it. See if sound works. Um, we're just going to go back to the home screen, I guess, main menu. Uh, while we're here, let's just make sure this is up all the way. And I put a home screen button on here, so there we go. Yeah, it works. So yeah, this video ran a little bit longer than I had hoped, but that's just kind of show you, showing you here that it works. Uh, in fact, let's go to multiplayer. I'm trying to find some servers.
Don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Yeah, well, there you go. I mean, it works. Um, as you can see, it's actually a pretty good frame rate. And uh, you can hear the music. It's pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Open TTD on uh, my pocket chip.